En ese video escucharemos a la cantante estadounidense Taylor Swift. En esta primera parte le preguntan si ella usa algún disfraz para esconderse de la gente cuando va a las tiendas. No, no, here's, here's the thing with these guys is like, I am not the kind of person who can ever get away with A. Committing any kind of crime, whether it be petty or anything, like, I would get arrested. Second, I can wear disguises or else people would know. Um, I can, like, lie overly about things or else, like, you will know. It's, I'm not one of those people who can, like, oh my god. Go out incognito and nobody will find out. Like, someone will find out, point and call me a loser for dressing up and trying to like, be bad girl. And I find it, I guess I've seen like, in LA sometimes this happens. You go into a restaurant and there's somebody dressed like, just like, too many layers of clothing. A hood, a hat, like hunched over, and you know that's an actor trying not to look famous. Sometimes the disguise gives you away more than just walking around being normal. And also, people don't think that you're like you have some weird social like issues to work out. Ahora escuchemos a la misma Taylor Swift. No, no, here's, here's the thing with disguises. Like, I am not the kind of person who could ever get away with a committing any kind of crime, whether it be petty or anything. Like, I would get arrested. Second, I can't wear disguises or else people will know. Um, I can't, like, lie overtly about things or else, like, you will know. It's I'm not one of those people who can, like, Oh my God, go out incognito and nobody will find out. Like someone will find out point and call me a loser for dressing up and trying to like be that girl. And I find it, I guess I've seen like in LA, sometimes this happens. You'll go into a restaurant and there's somebody dressed like just like too many layers of clothing, a hood, a hat, like hunched over. And you know, that's an actor trying not to look famous. Sometimes the disguise gives you away more than just like walking around being normal and Also, people don't think that you're like, you have some weird social, like, issues to work out. En esta segunda parte, la pregunta del entrevistador está aquí incluida. Do you feel a little bit secluded at times because you can go out and starts to get to that point where a little bit like, God, it kind of sucks now? Well, I mean... I can go out and I do go out. It's not a, it's not like a normal situation. It's the most normal in Nashville. Because people know I've lived here for like seven, eight years now. So, uh, it's the most normal here and there's no paparazzi here, which is the best thing ever. Because, um, having every day documented kind of gives you a little bit of anxiety. But um, I think it's it's important to go through normal activities. I really like normal activities. I really like hiking and going to the grocery store and doing my own shopping. I like malls. I'm not going to start like hating malls just because malls are like as kind of a social situation for me now, more so than they ever were. It's weird. I used to like go to the mall when I was a kid and there'd be like a group of girls and I'd be like, oh my God, I wish I was included in that group of girls. And now I go to the mall and it's like there's this group of girls and they're like, running towards me, which is, it's a different dynamic. Ahora escuchemos a Taylor. Do you feel a little bit 
secluded at times because you can't go out? Is it starting to get to that point where a little bit you're like, ah, this kind of sucks now? Well, I mean, I can go out and I do go out. It's not a, it's not like a normal situation. It's the most normal in Nashville because people know I've lived here for like seven, eight years now. So um, it's the most normal here. And there's no paparazzi here, which is the best thing ever because um, having every day documented kind of gives you a little bit of anxiety. But um, I think it's it's important to go through normal activities. I really like normal activities. I really like hiking and going to the grocery store and doing my own shopping. I like malls. I'm not going to start like hating malls just because malls are like a kind of a social situation for me now, more so than they ever were. It's weird. I used to like go to the mall when I was a kid and there'd be like a group of girls and I'd be like, oh my God, I wish I was included in that group of girls. And now I go to the mall and it's like I there's the a group thing. of girls and they're like running towards me, which is, it's a different dynamic. En esta tercera parte se le pregunta si los paparazzi no la insultan. They don't scream mean things at me, which is really nice. Or I just put headphones and whatever. They're usually just like, are you having a good day today? And I'm just sort of like, I don't like, this is just so stressful, this whole interaction. So I, you, I, I do what you, what I call kind of like the fear phase, or I just kind of like, it looks like I'm just ignoring everybody and I have my head down, but I'm really just like, terrified in trying not to trip and fall in front of people. Escuchemos ahora el audio. They don't scream mean things at me, which is really nice. Or I just put headphones in or whatever. They're usually just like, are you having a good day today? And I'm just sort of like, I don't like, this is just so stressful, this whole interaction. So I, you, I, I do what you, what I call kind of like the fear face where I just kind of like, it looks like I'm just ignoring everybody and I have my head down, but I'm really just like terrified and trying not to trip and fall in front of people. En esta cuarta parte se le pregunta si ella lee sobre su persona en revistas o en el internet. Ella dice no y da la razón de por qué. Because like, I think that there, there are a lot of different ways you can approach this from, from like, a mental perspective um, when your life changes and all of a sudden everything you do is documented good and bad every opinion is like out there and I think that you can either like put up all these walls and be like I don't care what anybody thinks I'm personally not capable of that because I am a songwriter I have feelings. I write songs about my feelings. I have to be vulnerable in order to write songs about my life. So I can like put up walls and not care what people think. So I have to not subject myself to things that are gonna hurt my feelings. So I can read magazines or like googling myself. It's like a terrifying idea for me. Ahora escuchemos el audio. Because, like, I think there are, there are a lot of different ways you can approach this from, from like, a mental perspective. Um, when your life changes and all of a sudden everything you do is documented, good and bad, every opinion is, like, out there. And I think that you can either, like, put up all these walls and be like, I don't care what anybody thinks. I'm personally not capable of that because... I am a songwriter, I have feelings, I write songs about my feelings, I have to be vulnerable in order to write songs about my life, so I can't like put up walls and not care what people think. So I have to not subject myself to things that are going to hurt my feelings. So I can't read magazines or like Googling myself is like a terrifying idea for me. <laughs> 